Hey Vinyl Community, it's Michael. Welcome back to Near Wild Heaven. Um, today's video I'm going to be showing you some of my best finds from 2023. And what's playing in the background, the Chinks Father Christmas 45. A really good Christmas song from the Chinks. Great stuff. So, turn this down. Yeah, I just wanted to go through, like, some of the stuff that I found this past year. I found some really good stuff, and um, I just wanted to show it again, because I'm just so thrilled with some of these that I got. So, up first, this is Kaleidoscope, uh, Tangerine Dream. This originally came out in 1968. Um, this is a reissue from uh, 1987. A really good psych, as you can tell by the cover there. Um, but this is so good. Uh, I was so happy to get this. It, it was on my want list for a long time. I finally got a good copy of it. Um, it's not an original, but oh well, um, I'm just glad to have the music. So there you go, Tangerine Dream Kaleidoscope. Great psych, great British psych from 1968. And I also got from the same band, I got their follow-up. Uh, this is called Faintly Blowing. This came out, I believe, in 1969. It was the one after the one I just showed. This one is equally as good. It's great psych. Um, these guys, uh, Kaleidoscope, they, they made these two albums. They made a bunch of singles under this name. And then, like in 1970, they changed their name to Fairfield Parlor. And they released another album, which is another one that I picked up this year. Uh, but I don't have it here to show. But yeah, this is so good. Kaleidoscope, Faintly Blowing, their second uh, album, the follow-up to uh, Tangerine Dream. And up next, I've been finding a lot of mono uh, versions of old 60s albums. And this one, this one is so good. This is, of course, the first Rolling Stones album. Uh, U.S. version, uh, but it came in this sleeve, really nice, and then the label here, it's got that FRR on there. I'm pretty sure that was only on, like, the first, first few pressings of this, but Man, this is so good. It sounds so good in mono. I mean, this is the way that the Rolling Stones recorded this stuff, you know? I mean, all those albums from, say, 1960, early 60s through, like, 1967, um, they were, uh, producing a lot of uh, albums in the mono format. And by 1969, in the U.S., they started um, phasing out. Well, actually, they started in 1968. Uh, but by 1969, they had phased out mono completely in the United States. But still, the... Those albums, the way they were recorded, they just sound so good. Um, but up next, this is Pink Floyd, Piper at the Gates of Dawn. It's the U.S. version on Tower. This is a 1969 reissue. 
and it's on uh, the striped tower label but yeah this is really good too I've wanted this album for a long time and uh, it's the only version of this album that has uh, CMLE play on it but it's a great album everybody knows this uh, first Pink Floyd album Piper at the Gates of Dawn excellent album and up next this one was like a blind buy and um, turned out that it was just really really good this is Tangle Edge uh, in search of a new dawn the psychological perspective of Tangle Edge but this is really good it's psych of course if you can't tell by the cover but uh, oh, it's just it's a great album I I love this album I mean uh, it, I've only had it since um, early this year I got it but um, yeah I've played this quite a few times and it is great if you ever see this and you're into psychedelic uh, music grab this it is well worth it I only paid 20 bucks for it so if you come across it for a cheap price pick it up if you're into psych because it's really good Tangle Edge in search in search of a new dawn there you go and up next this is a band called the Night Beats this was another blind buy but these guys this came out in 2011 um, these guys are like uh, garage psych I believe they're uh, from they're from Tacoma Washington so yeah but really good stuff uh, garage psych heavy on the reverb and uh, distorted guitars just really good stuff I really enjoyed this I'm so glad to have found this I even bought uh, the, another album that the store had they had this one and another album I bought this one first and I liked it so much I went back a few days later and got the other one but yeah this is this is my favorite of the two but really good stuff the night beats garage psych from uh, 2011 great stuff and up next this is was a really good find this is Silver Apples uh, their first album this came out originally in 1968 this is a 1968 pressing um, on cap records but yeah this is great this is really really good um, kind of a early electronic sound to it and um, the one guy here his name is uh, Simeon he made uh, it's like um, I guess it'd be like a primitive uh, um, synthesizer that he made himself and he calls it the Simeon he named it after himself but uh, yeah this is really trippy if you ever come across this just grab it because it is it is really good the Silver Apples first album from 1968 and up next this is uh, Buffalo Dead Forever this Australian band this came out in 1972 really good hard rock heavy metal um, it's great stuff uh, some of the songs on here like Leader Susie Sunshine Pay My Dues which is credited to uh, Blues Image so I guess Blues Image had recorded a song called Pay My Dues and they covered it. Uh, I'm a Mover, Ballad of Irving Fink, 
bean stew, forest rain, and dead forever. Uh, but yeah, really good hard rock, uh, great guitar work on here. It's really good stuff from Australia, from uh, 1972. Uh, Buffalo, dead forever. And up next, I don't know if I showed this one before. I had this for a little while. This is a family music in a doll's house. This is their first album from 1968. This might be like a 1970-71 reissue. But yeah, pretty good stuff. This is in the, the psychedelic book. Uh, the 100 Best Psych Albums. Uh, this is in there. Um, but yeah, this is a British band. It's got kind of some folky qualities to it but it's still it's really good it's not like hard psych with loud uh distorted guitars or anything like that but it's just really good it's like i guess you could um classify it as like uh acid folk sort of on the lines of uh incredible string band but even not that but similar but yeah family music in a doll's house from 1968 great album um, up next this is uh, night shadow the square root of two great psych album this is a band originally went by the name of little phil and the night shadows and they did like maybe like dance rock, garage rock, sort of, you know, early 60s type, uh, teenage dance party type music. But then they did this album, they shortened their name to Night Shadow, and they did this album, and this album is a trip. I mean, God, it's so psyche. It's just, it's almost kind of exploitive. It kind of reminds me of some of those uh, psych exploitation albums you see that I've shown a few of those. Kind of reminds me of those, but it's really good, really good stuff from Night Shadow, uh, the square root of two. And up next, some great punk with the adverts. Crossing the Red Sea with the adverts. This is a great album. This includes um, Gary Gilmore's Eyes, which is not on the original press of this. This is a reissue from, I'm not even sure, I think early 80s, like maybe um, 81, 82, something like that. But yeah, a really good classic British punk originally from 1977 or 78 but really good stuff the adverts crossing the Red Sea with the adverts and up next this is uh, the Who sellout I showed this not too long ago when I first got it I just got it a couple months ago but yeah, this is great. I love this album. And this is a, a mono copy of it. I only had a, a stereo version plus a couple of reissues that are all in stereo. But this one in mono and it sounds fantastic. The Who Sellout, classic album. Everybody knows this. But if you can find a mono copy of it, grab it because it's really good. And staying in the mono vein, we got the Beatles, Rubber Soul. Um, this is a U.S. copy of uh, in mono. Uh, this is so good. This sounds so good in mono. Um, but yeah, I when I saw this, it was like. I paid $13 for this, and it's just in great shape. There's no splits. Every uh, edge is like 
in perfect shape. You know, the record is, you know, it got, had the original inner sleeve and it's on the Rainbow Capital label, but really good. It looks kind of scuffed up a little bit, but um, it does not affect the play at all. It sounds excellent. It's a great album. Fantastic album. Everybody knows this. I'm so happy to have the mono version of this. Great album by the Beatles, Rubber Soul. And here's another one I showed uh, a few weeks ago. This is Man or Astro Man, What Remains in a Black Hole. I've been trying to get everything I can find by Man or Astro Man on vinyl. And this was a great find from a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. But yeah, this is so good. I love this band. And what this is, is a compilation of uh, their B-sides. So all the stuff on here is not on any of their other records. But great stuff from Man or Astro Man. What remains inside a black hole. And last one here. I know I never showed this because I just got this like last week. Um, but this is something I been thinking about getting for a long time um, and I finally did this is uh, Bocage Retium is the name of the band the name of the album is Psychedelic Underground this blew me away this is so good the guitar work on here is excellent now, doing research on this, um, you know how they'll show, like, uh, when you look on Discogs, and they'll show, like, uh, the band members, and then, like, other groups that the band members have been in, or aliases of the band. This listed uh, the band Hell Preachers Incorporated. Uh, which is a German band, which this is a German band too. But I think this is the same band as the Hell Preachers Incorporated, uh, which was like a exploitation psych album that came out in the 60s. But this, this is so good. I mean, from start to finish, this, is, this thing just rocks and it's, it's got great psych guitar on it. Anything you can ask for, uh, but in a psych album, but so good. Uh, Bocage Retium. And the name is actually backwards. It's someone named Meister Jacob. And they used that name and just spelled it backwards for the band name. But yeah, great album. If you ever see this, and it's not too expensive. I didn't pay too much for this. I paid about 25 bucks for this online. But great album if you can find it. Uh, Psychedelic Underground by Bocage Retium. Great stuff. So that's it for this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I just wanted to show you like some of my favorite finds from the past year. Uh, I thought they were all pretty good. I was excited to find a lot of these. Um, but that's it for this week. So uh, thanks to everyone who subscribed in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're all enjoying your favorite albums and looking forward to uh, Christmas and the New Year and all that jazz. So take it easy, VC. We'll see you next time.